When Letty and Dom are in Cuba, Dom finds himself racing in a vehicle that turns out to be a ticking time bomb. Now we're taking you to the behind the scenes of this blazing race down the scenic Malecon in Havana to see how we pulled it off. Why are you hooking up my cousin's car? Your cousin's car? Not anymore. I need money, I give it to him, he can't pay, I take the car. One thing that I did when I started on Fate of the Furious was to do my homework. Just do the research. I wanted to figure out what the fans loved about this franchise and what they missed. If there's anything they missed. And what I keep hearing is just going back to the basics. Car racing, car racing, just racing for pink slips. You want a car? Get it the right way. Race for it. Our characters have evolved to kind of save the world status that it's hard to justify a race anymore in this universe. So we were adamant about trying to find the perfect place to set that up. And the idea that we were able to make this race about honor was such a cool thing and such a throwback to the first one, ironically. He knows it doesn't matter what's under a hood. The only thing that matters is who's behind the wheel. And race his car. basically stripped the car of all its heavy parts, left the essentials, and now we're about to start the race. things that we wanted in this drag race is not to make it be just a regular drag race from start to finish because we've done those in Fast and Furious. Let's make it through the city. We've got to make right hand turns, left hand turns, around people, around cars. And we'll give them blockers. The motorcycles will be blockers who will block the traffic just for a split second. So we're getting ahead of these guys, we're blocking traffic and stopping everybody from coming in through the intersection so these guys can just charge as fast as they can. It's been fun, the streets are a little dirty, a little slippery here and there, but you kind of spot your lines and it all works out. It's been a good experience here out here in Havana riding, sometimes pulling a, a dirty move here and there, launching a bike in front of cars and, and uh, trying to keep Dom from winning the race. We said, that's not enough. We've got to have something that he has to deal with. Dom has rigged this car to go faster, but at the same time, it's also about to explode. And the harder he drives this car, the more likely it's gonna explode. And it happens right here on the Malacon. The Malacon is the thoroughfare of, of the city. It's the coastal byway, if you will. It's very much the scenic route. Beautiful, and it, in a lot of ways, the way people travel from one point of the city to the other. So what we were tasked with doing is finding spots to film a few scenes, and we did that, but we had to decide how will we make shutting down the Malacone possible. And it was a big coordinated effort between the government, the transit authorities, the police department, the firemen. We had meetings after meetings after meetings after meetings. I mean, we're shutting down about a half a mile of the road. That's a lot because we're not just shooting one part here, we're actually shooting another part further down the road. So at the end of the day, we're really shutting down the whole road. <laughs> we were probably hitting close to 100 on the Malacan, and Fred was having a hard time in the helicopter keeping up with him. This is one of the most beautiful stretches of Havana, right off the water, and this is where we end our race. They turn onto the Malacan, they avoid traffic, but Dom's car has literally been transformed into a bomb. 
fire almost gives away your speed because it's slow speed. You can tell you're not going fast, but when you're moving, it's just blowing back all over the windshield, pulling into the car. I mean, it's the real deal. Trying to make a car go backwards fast was tough. But what Dennis McCarthy did was put a car that was a four-wheel steering car. He gave us four-wheel steering, which really helped that we could actually do 90 miles an hour and keep it fairly controllable. But that's how we did it safely. What better way to open a movie that has a bunch of cars <laughs> and a bunch of action sequences with cars than Cuba? It's the perfect place, not only for the story, but just as a backdrop to open Fast 8, and I loved it.